Character, check. Setting, check. Hey, I almost don't feel grumpy at all. Hey, Grumpy Monkey, you're still awake? I was just getting some tea before I went to bed. <gasps> you made your cover? Somebody's been working hard. You did your character. You got your setting. Now it looks like all we have left are your major events. Major events? Yes, you know, a story would be pretty boring if you just said, there's a character named Bob, and he went to the park, right? I mean, we have to know what happens to Bob, don't we, while he's at the park? Well, my story is called The Windy Day. The Windy Day? Okay, perfect. So, what do you think would happen to Bob at the park on a windy day? And if you don't know, do you know where you can look? The Windy Day Chart? Yes! You can look at the Windy Day Chart to get some ideas about what people do on a windy day, or you can come up with your own. Most stories have at least three major events, and sometimes we call those the beginning, the middle, and the end, but there's kind of three big things that happen in the story. Three major events. You understand? Three events that happened in my story. I'm ready! Great. And in case you still need a little inspiration, here we go. Oh, you need three events, three events. You just need three events that happen to your character. Related to the weather. Related to the weather. Use the chart, use the chart. If you need ideas about the type of weather, what a person likes to do, the chart is here to help you.